Hi guys. Okay, let us discuss about the subnetting today. What is a subnetting? This is a very interesting topic and some people will get afraid for this topic. Why? Because there are a lot of max to do it. But it's very simple. If you know the uh, uh, doubling of 2, then this is a very easy topic. If you know the division of 2, it's a very easy topic. Hope everyone knows this. Okay, right? What is a subnetting? Let us do the basic understanding. In the layman language, if you have the property like this, you want to divide in this property to the four members. This is a normal layman term. I have piece of cake. I am going to divide this cake to the four members. This is a part one, part two, part three, part four. The similar passion we will be having a larger size IPs in that we are going to divide into multiple networks. For example, A person want to establish A network, B person want to establish a B network, C person want to establish C network and D person want to establish D network. For all those things, we are dividing IPs and we will give to them. That is a basic idea. The larger IP, we will be subnetting to the different different purposes. For example, if you take an organization, they will be procuring on public IP. The same public IP will be large IP slash 24 or slash 16, whatever. They are purchasing as per their need. They want to segregate for DMZ, one set of IPs. And then for my internal network, I need to use different IPs. Some applications, different set of IPs. So I want to segregate with the different different purposes. So I can using the subnetting, we can segregate it. And then honey network, honey net, oh, whatever. Okay, uh, it could be the anything. Okay, uh, I want based on my requirement, I can divide the subnet. That's what the subnetting works here. So for the subnetting, let us do the calculation. How we are going to do? There are several uh, scenarios we will discuss in upcoming videos. We will discuss one by one. Let's see. Now, organization has purchased IP 216.21.5.0, which is a class C, which is a class C IP address. For class C, by default, subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Hope everyone is aware about this. These three are network part this one is host part now with this ip organization has decided i need to split into the five networks how many networks i need to split into five networks okay my requirement is five network so first step we need to determine a network and then that network value we need to convert into the binary hope everyone is aware about the conversion of decimal to binary the same principle we are going to apply here let us do the conversion of binary first step this is the first and foremost step my writing could be bad okay please bear with me 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay. By adding any of these values, we have to get a 5. Can do the calculation. If I am, if I am adding this, we will get a 5. No, this is a larger number. 64. No, it is larger. 32. Oh, it is larger. 16. It is again larger. 8 it's larger now 4 yeah we can accommodate okay 4 plus 2 if you add means no 6 no we can't now 1 now 4 plus 1 if you adding means we will get a 5 network so I am reserving a 3 bits I am reserving here 3 bits this is a step 1 now we are reserved 3 bits why because the value started from here no we have reserved 3 bits now first step is completed now we reserve reserved 3 bits for 
this calculation now second step reserve the bit into the subnet mask and find our increment value we need to find our increment value this is a calculation purely for doing the subnetting okay second step we need to reserve our bit which we found and find the increment value okay let's see this is my default subnet mask 255.255.255.0 .255 everyone is aware right now let convert into the binary sorry we'll put is uh, if 255 means in this 128 64 and then 32 16 8 4 2 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 if you add all this value only this 255 will, one will come 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 255 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then third octet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now this is the one which we need to do the increment now we have three bits let's put value here one two three this is a three add here one two three rest all is zero five six seven eight rest all is zero see here if you add this here we will get 255 255 255 here no changes at all already is this value sir here 128 plus 64 plus 32 it will come as a 1 sorry it will come as a 224 correct now my increment value is here if you take it's 32 why because this is third octet my increment value is 32 now we found the increment value also 32 now let us use this increment value and do the subnetting let us do the third step now increment value is 32 we need to increment 32 32 32 0 32 64 and then 64 plus 32 96 and 96 plus 32 128 like that we need to do the increment now we have found the subnet mask and then increment value let us apply the this subnet mask and increment value into the step 3 let us do the step 3 use increment value and find our subnets okay let us start from the 216.216.21.5.0 this is my first network which i have parent network from there only we are going to divide it now second network by incrementing 32 216.21.5.32 this is second network id third network 216.21.5.64 fourth network 216.21.5.96 fifth network 216.21.5.128 my sixth network 216.21.5.129 160 now my seventh network 216.21.5.160 plus 192 and then eighth network 216.21.5.224 okay this is my total network 
See, actually, my question is, I want a fine network, but here I get it eight network. See, you may ask me, okay, I need only fine network, but why you are segregated with the gate? See, there is a no possibility. We can go with this number. Okay, we have to go with the one network or two network or four network or eight network or sixteen network or thirty-two or sixty-four, one twenty-eight, and double like that value only. Okay, within this only we can segregate it. Okay, this is a five, three like that and all we cannot segregate it. Okay, here we got eight networks in our. In this network we have divided into eight. Okay, let us do the calculation. For this network starting IP is one, ending IP is thirty-three. Sorry, thirty one. If you say technically, but this thirty one will come as a broadcast IP. So my valid IP is thirty. In this case, my starting IP is thirty three. This is a network ID. This is network ID. This is network ID. This is network ID. Network ID. Network ID. Network ID. Network ID. After network ID, the first IP is thirty three, and then last IP is sixty two. And then my sixty-four is my broadcast IP. Sorry, sixty-three is my broadcast IP. And then this is broadcast in IP instance. Okay, already we know the default broadcast IP is a two fifty-five dot two fifty-five dot two fifty-five dot two fifty-five. That is a generic broadcast IP. Within this network, if you want to anything you want to analyze, you can use this broadcast IP. You can analyze. This is we called as a directed broadcast IP, which we have discussed in the previous videos. You can go through it. Now in this network, if you say it's a ninety-four, is a valid IP from sixty-five to ninety-five. Like that, we need to put a value here. Ninety-five is a broadcast IP. Here ninety-seven to one twenty-six. One twenty-seven is a broadcast IP. BC IP means broadcast IP. Okay, don't think it's something else. One twenty-nine is a starting IP. One fifty eight is a valid IP, and then one fifty nine is a broadcast IP. See, there is no space in the board. Okay, that's what I am cutting short and writing it. And then one sixty one is a starting IP. One ninety is a ending IP, and then one ninety one is a broadcast IP for this network. Same passion. One ninety three is a starting IP, and then. Two 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 is a last IP, and then two two three is a broadcast IP. Here too, two two five is a starting IP, and ending IP is two five four, and then two five five is a broadcast IP. This is the first scenario. Okay, we have did with the class E IP address. There are three steps. First steps, we need to understand how many networks we need. We need to divide, and then We need to convert that network into the binary. After converting that into binary, we will get a, how many bits we required it. Post that, we need to do the find out the increment value, and then after finding the increment value, here we found as a thirty two is our increment value. Thirty two is the increment value. After that, we have to apply the increment here, so we will get a subnet. So our requirement is a five. But we cannot divide with the five. We have to go with the eight. We don't have any option. Hope this video makes you clear. Thanks for watching.